Shalom and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Thank you for joining with us. Today we are at our last episode of what we have been looking through this entire week of truth of God's word for us and especially for the youth. And through the last couple of days, we've had Jeremy with us sharing his thoughts about his season of life. And we've looked together at God's word for guidance and wisdom. So Jeremy. So um, when I look at my friends and see how they relate to what is spiritual, uh, it seems that everything is only about activities or what they're doing. And now religion is reduced to um, holding some beliefs or following rules and rituals or even chanting prayers. And uh, I wonder if that's required of us too. So that's a wonderful observation, Jeremy. And a lot of us sometimes do fall into that trap of doing things, of doing works, of doing activities in place of, of really, um, uh, in place of really having a true relationship with God. And we define, sometimes we define this relationship with God in terms of the things that we do, in terms of the activities that we may be engaged in. And I'd like to um, read from scripture from Micah chapter 6 verse 8. It's a, it reads, He has shown you, O man, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you, but to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. Now, this was something even an Old Testament prophet like Micah observed. Micah was a prophet in Judah during the time um, the Israelites were held uh, captive by the Assyrians. And you see that at this time, the king of Judah um, tried very hard to bring the people back to God, but it was mostly superficial. And the kingdom's sins were hidden uh, behind these religious uh, rituals. So everything seemed to look wonderful on the outside, but Micah definitely knew the hearts um, of the people were really far away from God. So what did he see? You know, he saw past their adherence of these external things of the law and was addressing the root of their sins, which was their heart. And Micah now addresses and requires something of them. And that's how he brings about this verse. So we can take this application for ourselves today. And here in this verse that we read, the Lord requires three things. And it says, to walk humbly with God. Now this becomes the basis for the other two requirements, which is to love mercy and to do justice. So. Walking humbly with God is a description of the heart's attitude towards God. So when we, because of what God has done, we fully ensure and we invest in serving the world because of what God's done for us. And we need to walk humbly before God. Cultivating our walk with God provides the power to do, um, to, to do things with power and to do things with passion. The other two that he talks about is to do justly. Now this justice isn't about punishment, but it is about fairness. And God deals with each one of us impartially. So we are called to impartially work with people, impartially look at what may be disadvantaged, people who may have disadvantages, and work alongside with them, build them up, and to do things impartially. And lastly, it says, is to love mercy. God desires, a, desires for us to love mercy. And the word that is translated here is kindness. That is, to love kindness. Um, that God wants us to love mercy because that's the only way that we become people who respond with grace and with goodness. So the message that Micah had is still very, very applicable. It is still pertinent today to us that religious rites or 
external compliances to rules is not as valuable as as in god's eyes as a humble heart as a heart that is sold out for him so let's pray together heavenly father we pray and we thank you that you have given us so many things to do lord for your kingdom but we ask that we would never do anything apart from you lord that our sole responsibility our sole desire would be to love you to do all things for others and for your kingdom that comes from a right relationship with you thank you because you love our hearts and you want to seek the best of our hearts father may we give you the best out of our relationship with you in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally for more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org